Uh, this is a preview of uh, what NeuroGuided will have inside of it in the future in regard to evoke potentials. Uh, you'll be able to click uh, collection, evoke potentials, and there'll be a, a, a number of options, one of which is the uh, visual evoke potential with uh, pattern reversal for hemiretinal stimulation at both upper and lower and left and right uh, stimulation and the auditory evoke potential, uh, as well as the somatosensory evoke potential, and then in the future we'll have the, the P300, uh, the go-no-go, -no -go, and the match-mismatch negativity evoke potential, both in the auditory and uh, most recently based on the, the new literature in the visual uh, modality. Uh, this is just showing the beginning stages of the development of this program. Uh, the panel on the extreme left over here is uh, one of the uh, control panels that determines the scaling of the evoke potentials. All uh, uh, up to 128 electro electrodes are capable. Certainly 19 electrodes are capable of being viewed. One can s uh, select subsets of evoke potential uh, channels, and one can superimpose them. Uh, and then you can have a start time and a stop time for the evoke potential and, or event related potential. And uh, it's important to get roughly 100 milliseconds uh, of data before the onset of the evoking stimulus. And then one can use that as a baseline to compute uh, t tests uh, for the latencies uh, post onset of the uh, event related event. Uh, Neuroget has the capacity in the future to uh, allow one to transcend from the depth to the surface, that is to go from the scalp and back and forth uh, with a rendered face, so you can see the eyes and the, uh, the shape of the face, and then go down into the skull, and then from the skull to the cortical surface. And look at the electrical fields uh, as they move, as a movie, in time from the onset of the event-related event, in the case of pattern reversal or auditory, somatic sensor, whatever, it's a general uh, uh, capacity. And one can rotate the, uh, the view from the surface of the scalp or at the surface of the cortex. I'm showing just now the surface of the cortex. In a moment, I'll be able to show how one can rotate that uh, surface and, and then look at the electrical field change as a movie from the onset of the stimulus uh, and at different step-by-step uh, -step, uh, of the sample rate and also be able to do the same if one wants at the scalp surface. Uh, we'll particularly be able to look at uh, visual uh, areas of the, of the cortex, that is Bobbin areas 17, 18, and 19 with uh, hemiretinal stimulation and upper and lower visual uh, retinal stimulation. So for now, I'm just going to show this and, and recognize that uh, these are parts. This part over here on the right is the rendering part that will be integrated with the evoke potential itself. That can be expanded to look at many traces and with controls when you're able to uh, click on electrodes so that you can superimpose evoke, evoke potentials at different conditions. Uh, or different electrode uh, locations. So I'm going to start this just to give you a brief uh, view of the uh, rendered uh, cortical surface with the gyri and some of the capacity to do this uh, to alter and change things and in the future we'll uh, have a much more you know, mature and well-tested program. We're going to be testing this beta testing uh, the rest of the month of November and December, and we hope that uh, December would be a good release date. So this is just showing how the brain can be changed in its orientation, uh, describing uh, you know uh, the various parts of the brain and uh, the locations of of uh, uh, current sources at, at a particular location. And one can have up to 10 different uh, brains at different 10 different locations. So you can look at 50 milliseconds, 100 milliseconds, 150 milliseconds, 200 milliseconds, etc. These different uh, uh, latencies and evaluate the electrical potential at the scalp surface 
as well as at the uh, surface of the neocortex. So um, we will have this working. I just want you to see this initial phase uh, of this project, and uh, and I'll uh, keep uh, everybody abreast with the additional uh, uh, videos to show how how we progress. And we're looking forward to uh, feedback uh, from uh, practitioners and customers as we move forward in the future.